Hello everyone, Tommy J here, and today I'm here to do some heroic Curse of Nax Ramus, specifically heroic Gluth. Now, I'm going to be doing this with a completely free to play warrior deck, this one here. And if you want to look at the free to play cards, all you do is type basic down the bottom here. Anyway, the point of this is to deal as much damage as we can. Now, Gluth's hero power is that. Um, at the start of each of his turns, everything on your side of the board gets its health lowered to 1. So, a bit painful as you may imagine. So I've got some things that buff um, a couple of things that spawn a second minion. I do have the weapons, both the Fiery War Axe and the Arcanite Reaper, and then just some taunts and some things in between. I have the Acidic Swamp Ooze in there as well because he does have a weapon. Anyway, let's do it. Blue feeds our leftover zombies. Come to think of it, you would make a pretty good leftover zombie. I would make a pretty good anything. Ha! Get up. Nailed it. Alright, so he starts with those two on the board. Um. Look, I think I'm I'm gonna keep the Wolf Rider because it does let me kill off that if it comes to turn three. It won't though. Sweet heroic strike. Execute. I asked the zombies if they wanted to eat your brains, and they said, "I don't eat junk food." <laughs> hey, that's mean. Why are you being mean? I think I'm gonna drop the swamp ooze, Just remove his weapon as soon as I can. Oh god. At least there are zombie chows on the board. Um, yeah, Swamp Ooze. For sure. I'll keep the second one unless he uses his weapon again. It's lowered to one health. It doesn't really matter because he would die to the unstable ghoul anyway. What? Why would you do that? Giving me five health. Okay, sure. I'm fine with that. Um, I... Th mm, I can Wolf Rider to kill the unstable ghoul. Or, I can leave the Unstable Ghoul there, because it's only one damage a turn, and if he drops something big, it means that it deals one damage to the whole lot, and then I'll be able to execute the other thing. So I think I'm going to Shield Block. Arcanite Reaper. That's alright. Another Unstable Ghoul. Um, Fiery War Axe Armor Up, I think. And then just hit one of the ghouls. Necro Knight. That's what I want. So, by hitting the unstable ghoul and finishing it off... Actually, let's let's work out the mana before we do this. Let's make it efficient. I'm going, going to hit the unstable ghoul uh, with... Either Garrosh or with Wolf Rider, probably with Garrosh. And then I'm going to execute the Necro Knight, which will heal me for five. So I don't want to armor up beforehand because it, it'll drop me to 25 health. And then when the Zombie Chow dies, it'll bring me to 30. If I armor up beforehand, it will um, eat the armor, like the AoE, the Unstable Ghoul does. Um, so how much mana does that use? That just uses Execute, so the one. Okay, well, let's do it, and then we will think about what we're doing next. So, execute that. I want to keep... I want to keep the Swamp Ooze, so I think I'm going to Wolf Rider hit him. The Wolf Rider doesn't lose anything with Decimate, so it's fine. And I don't know if he has any board clear or not. Spiteful Smith. I could... Heroic Strike wouldn't kill it. Um, Heroic Strike and Wolf Rider would kill it, so I think I might Heroic Strike, Wolf Rider, and play the Dragonling Mechanic. Yeah. I don't really want to use a Weapons Charge on it, because it wouldn't kill it in one hit. So let's Heroic Strike, run that in, and Dragonling Mechanic. Next turn, I have a couple of options, depending on what he does, actually. If he drops a weaker minion, I have the Arcanite Reaper. Yep. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. <laughs> I'm just running those two into it. I do not believe you. Helpazard is full of lies. 
Um, I'm gonna send in Shieldmaster Shield Block. I could have weaponed, but yeah, I'd rather have the extra card just in case I need it. And I want a minion on the board so I can actually start hitting him. Oh, he's gonna kill it. Damn it. He's gonna just wear me down, like, before I can hit him. He keeps clearing all my minions. Arcanite Reaper, let's play it. And I'll start beating away at him, since I have that second one in my hand now. Hopefully he plays a minion that I can kill with this. Yep, Sludge Belcher, perfect. He's just listening to me. Enrage. That's alright, I had that armor, thankfully. Um... Now look, that's going to bring a 1-2. Do I want to run the Blue Warrior into it? I don't, actually. I'm going to armor up, hit him, and then I'm going to grab my other Arcanite Reaper. Oh, yeah, no, grabbing the other Arcanite Reaper. And the reason I'm doing that is because if he drops a second minion, I can cleave that one dead. Yep, cool. Oh, actually, that's not good. Destroying my weapon. Um... What I might do is cleave, hope it hits the Spectral Knight, and then drop two Bluegill Warriors. Please, Spectral Knight, come on. You got this. Yep. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Then I'll armor up. Run those two into it. And hit him in the face. Necro Knight. Annoying. And bite. Zombie puppy. Him and his biting. Okay, the forearm is a bit annoying because I don't really want to sacrifice a weapon. Um, look, I might as well hit the skeletal smith. Ah, yeah, it's it's too much damage to take every turn. Then I'll fiery war axe and hopefully pick up something that can kill this. Good. Jaws, so I can play the Swamp Ooze now. Ooh. He's killed me, I think. No, I'm one health. I'm destroying the Jaws, so if I get something to deal with the Necro Knight, I'm okay. That's not something to deal with the Necro Knight. Let's see if he actually attacks me. I think the boss has been pretty good at going for lethal thus far, but let's see if something triggers and he doesn't want to. Yeah, no, he did. That's all right. There is no achievement for losing to Blue. I knew it. You lied to me. Oh well, that's all right. Let's give this another go. So Gluth, heroic warrior three. I feel like we were doing okay there. It was just that we were losing far too many minions for what we were actually doing. Kerash versus. I do like that he starts with those on the board. I feel like they're helping me out. Um, I'm going to ditch one execute. I'll keep the other. Just because I want a bit of variety. I like the acidic swamp in the opening hand. That's good. Um, ideally, a weapon would be perfect. Oh. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm going to drop the swamp to kill that. It gives me something on the board. Something to either kill the unstable ghoul with or have a zombie run into. Second zombie. I'm... I like these. They're probably not very good for actually using in play, but... Okay. Acidic Swampoos. Kill the weapon. It's bloody brilliant value killing those. It's just... Oh, it's good stuff. Okay, second unstable ghoul. No, not running one of them into into the Swampoos today. That's alright. I think I'm going to equip the weapon. Oh, I want one of them alive though. That's annoying. Um, okay. Gonna attack that. See, my choices here are finish off the Unstable Ghoul using a Fiery War Axe or Armor Up. Or I could even execute it. I don't really want to use the execute on it. I'm saving the execute in case something else gets hurt. My thinking is that if the unstable ghoul's left alive and I kill it next turn, then I can execute whatever big thing he drops, but it means I can't play like my Murloc and stuff. 
Yeah, no, I'm just going to armor up. I'm going to risk it a little bit. Just hoping that next turn he drops something. Cool. So, since he's dropped that, and I don't want to sacrifice a weapon, I might Heroic Strike into the Unstable Ghoul and execute it. Well, execute the smith. Then next turn, I have Noloc Tide. Ooh, damn it! One turn off. One turn off. Um... Yeah, no, I've misplayed this terribly. What can I actually do? Let's drop the Murloc Tide Hunter and Fiery War Axe just to kill one of these and heal up a bit. But I'm expecting he will kill me this turn. Ah, your hero power did nothing. Ooh, another big one. I can run the Murloc Scout into this for another heal. Um, oh, actually, Corcoran Elite and Murloc Tidehunter into Necro Knight. There we go. Now, since I have the Reaper, oh, actually, no, I'm going to leave it. Leave that. Hopefully, he doesn't play something I could one-shot with the Reaper. That would just be not ideal. Ah, he did. Oh, actually, that's all right. Because I'm going to drop the... Ooh, how should I do this? Okay, so I'm either bringing the Reaper up this turn or next turn. I don't need it this turn because I'm going to attack with the Fiery War Axe, kill the Zombie Chow. Um, and if I don't spend the mana on the Reaper, I can drop some other things. So I could drop the Dragonling Mechanic and the Shattered Sun Cleric. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Dragonling Mechanic... I might actually save... No, the, saving the Cleric isn't going to help me at all. Let's make this one a bit stronger. I will finish off that zombie chair, and then I will hit him in the face. Hopefully I draw a shield block or something, because I'm running a little low on health here. Oh, no. Are you serious? Come on. Come on. Unstable ghouls. You're just the worst. Um, okay, well, my entire side is going to die to the Unstable Ghoul no matter what happens. So I think I'm just going to run this into that. And then I have two options. I can Arcanite Reaper to kill both of these, or I can Bluegill Warrior to kill just that. I think I'm going to Reaper to kill both. I'll armor up. I'll just kill both. That's all right. That, that actually went pretty well for me. Now, this turn... Ooh. Okay, so he's actually out of cards. Like, in his hand. He's drawing one a turn. This is actually pretty good for me. I think I'm going to hit that, and then I'll start dropping some stuff. Let's just drop these two for now. I'll keep the taunt in my hand in case I need it. What have you got? Sludge Belcher! Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Fiery War Axe! Yep, let's equip it. Armor up. I will... Hit that. Hit that. And... I'm gonna leave that for now. Hopefully he hits me. Hopefully. Hitting the Cleric is good trading for him. Ooh, yeah, and I need to kill that. Yep, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, I fiery war axe into that. Weapon was already dead, so it's okay. And then I'm going to drop these two and try and lay the damage on him. Yeah, it's just who can kill the other person first. Hopefully he doesn't get another weapon. Zombie chow, that's cool. I'll let the zombie chow hit me. Let's drop the mechanic, and hit him right in the face. Yeah, Zombie Chow will hit that. Ooh, Spectral Knight. Do I have another Reaper in my deck? An Execute would be ideal. Razor Fen Hunter. I'm gonna take this damage to the face and just hit him. 
Like, I have a lot of things on the board, and I have 19 health. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> no. No. Okay. There. There. Now, I'm going to Corcoran Elite into his face. He can kill it with the Spectral Knight if he wants, but... Hopefully, just, yeah. Bite. Don't kill the Corcoran Elite with it. Please don't. Yes, that's fine. Okay. How much damage does he have per turn? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Those unstable ghouls were just so annoying. Ah, oh, damn it. Killing minion. Playing it smart. Oh, wow. Talk about top decking. <laughs> Brilliant. Like, <laughs> that, is, that is one of the biggest top decks I've ever seen in my life. So good. So good. How many cards? He has 10. I have 10. Cleave, unfortunately, will not do anything. So let's keep hitting him. Abomination. Ooh. Okay. Execute? No. E either way. Either way. My ooze is dead. So I think I'm going to hit that and then cleave. Because that will wipe the board. So I'll armor up. Hit that. Cleave. And I mean, I get healed up. I just really need a minion on the board. Like, how many more do I have? I think I still have a Corcoran Charger. I think. Wolf Rider, that's fine. <laughs> it's getting low. These decks are just running out. What have you got? Spectral Knight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, Sengen Shieldmaster. Perfect. And then I can execute the Knight next turn. Oh no, you can't cast spells on it. That's alright. Zombie Chow again. Heroic Strike. I'm actually going to save the Heroic Strike. I want to see what he does against the Wolf Rider. I probably should have Heroic Striked the Knight, but then I mean... Ah. Damn you. Um... Oh no, and now I don't have Execute. Okay, I have an Arcanite Reaper. So I think I'm going to Heroic Strike to kill the Abomination. And now I'm going to play the Reaper for next turn. He has Jaws. But that's it. That is it. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, that was a long one. We almost ran out of cards, but I mean, at least the warrior can outlive him. Who will eat all of these leftover zombies now? <laughs> Ugh. Anyway. So there are probably a bunch of free-to-play cards um, that you've unlocked earlier in Naxxramas that you can put into that deck. I'll put that as well as just other common cards and rare cards that people might have down in the description if I think they're worth subbing into the deck, because yeah, it's worth the mention, and there's always ways to improve free-to-play decks. Anyway, guys, this has been Tommy J with Heroic Gluth. If you have any requests for other videos, leave me a comment or message, and I'll see what I can do. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to favorite, like, and or subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.